hello 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 and welcome back to my channel for today's video we will be creating a look that is 100 percent transfer proof a perfect makeup base that will not budge on this thing here <laughs> for that we will be following malvika satlani's makeup steps to get that base now i have recently posted sweat proof slash heat proof makeup video just before navratri so you guys could use that during this garba time and all right but i honestly think adorable malvika satlani steps are going to be more of similar to mine own but let's see let's try it together so once uh, we are done with the makeup application i will also be like checking on how it performed throughout the day so stay tuned for that till the end of the video and if you're new here consider subscribing i post regular makeup and skincare hacks product reviews i mean if you're someone who likes makeup skincare fashion and shopping all together you have found the ultimate channel that does it all so subscribe and hit the bell button now let's see what she has planned for us today hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can get this beautiful glam makeup look on a budget i'm going to be using maybelline new york products in today's video okay so it looks like she's going to be using all the products from maybelline let me just get those so we can really taste i mean proper taste her techniques focus mostly on the base and how you can get your makeup to stay transfer proof because we know all of us wear masks these days and I'm going to teach you techniques on how you can avoid the transfer of your makeup on your mask. Before we jump into the video, I want to thank Maybelline for partnering with me in today's video. The Fit Me range is non-comedogenic and I know that's very important for most of you to know. Um, it does not clog pores. Uh, so it's your like very go-to everyday makeup. If you're the kind of person who needs to wear makeup every Every single day for whatever reason I feel like this could be your range so the first product I'm going to use is this foundation right here this is the matte and poreless foundation my Maybelline this is in 230 natural I'm using the same foundation the matte version in the same shade as well so when I first bought this set I was a bit fair than what I am right now I mean I did not go out and get tan in this pandemic the struggle but I guess it's a result of my diet and I'm trying to lose weight so it's making my skin look a bit dull than usual i mean i'm following nutritionally rich diet but moving on this foundation anyway oxidizes on me a lot i mean i wish i had bought even lighter shade so it would match me perfectly you see this within 30 minutes it's going to be like just plain pink shade <laughs> So this is the first layer of the foundation. I applied so little and I just blended it out. If you're someone that needs makeup every day, like I said, your go-to makeup, you don't need a heavy duty foundation that's going to clog your pores. So I highly recommend this. I do feel like this gives you very natural looking finish and almost like the one that you get from MAC's, uh, MAC Studio Fix Fluid. fluid fluid foundation but this one wears off pretty quickly uh, still if you're someone who wears full base every day or very frequently this is a better option for you because well mainly because this is cheap and easily accessible in the market plus Nika runs a loot discount on Maybelline so yep so I know a lot of us are confused as to how we can find our shade. I'm going to leave some links down below that's going to take you to uh, the website where you can get this. And they have pictures of each shade um, comparing it to a different skin tone and you can see um, what comes closest to your skin. Yes, but I feel like those product website have photographs that were taken in the studio light. I mean tons of studio lights and anyway the studio lights is going to wash off any imperfection along with the actual skin tone. You see this one is in white bright light and now i'm changing it to yellow this is how i'd look and this is mix of both yellow and white so you can see how my skin tone changed so i don't rely on those photographs but i believe she had to talk about the website because of the sponsorship <laughs> It's not wrong. I mean, we still love you, Malvika Boo. You can check out the website called Foundation where you can compare the shades from one brand to another. And they have this huge library, whatever foundation that is you're currently using. And 
have shade that suits you just put the shade name and you'll find matching shade in other brands this is not sponsored by the way but look how informative my videos are Moving on to concealer, um, now I know a lot of us get confused also when it comes to concealer and how do we pick the right shade. I usually pick medium. So in any um, foundation shade, concealer shade, I go for the medium uh, one. All two concealers right here. This is from the Maybelline New York Fit Me range again. Um, now this is medium right here. You can see how it's got like a slightly peachy undertone to it. Now this is gonna help cancel out the darkness that you see underneath, okay? And then going in with a slightly brighter concealer that is in the shade Sand. So this is Sand. Now you can see the stark difference between the two, right? So this is used for canceling out the dark and then this is used for brightening the eye. I have Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand but the medium one I do not own that one. I Wouldn't it be weird though if I had all the shade Malvika owns? I mean I do not have that pink undertone concealer but because I do not get like as many PR as she does especially makeup PR. Anyway I'll be using this MAC Studio Fix 24 hour smooth concealer where foundation because i have this i have used this before as my um under eye corrector and this is exactly what malvika described so it has this pink undertone and it dries down and gets pinker and pinker that's not even a word so this is in the shade N nw20 up the fit me loose finishing powder and this is in the shade 15 light okay so now with my damp beauty sponge i'm going to pick it up and i'm going to place it underneath my eye just like that to lock it in you will press the powder into your foundation like this and mattify it completely don't worry about getting too dry so all you got to do is make sure you are setting your base this is the key to long wearing makeup so again picking it up stamp it really well i personally don't mind baking under my eyes because that's where i have the darkness and the yellow undertone in the powder is going to help me cover that but i definitely hate putting so much powder all over my face especially as a last step of my makeup routine because that's gonna make me look cakey as hell no matter what the powder is it it could be fit me it could be huda beauty it could be revolution banana it could be anything but it is going to make your face look cakey so my preferred step would be to use setting spray after this step i mean immediately after this but she isn't doing that probably because the sponsorship in this video and she has to use all the Maybelline products in this video. I think that's what sponsorship means but maybe it works. Maybe it just works like that. Maybe it works without setting spray. I don't know. So we're just going to try that out. We aren't going to change her steps. I'll be just following her steps only just so we could check if it works and if it doesn't work. In fact, I didn't even use primer today. So didn't use one, so I didn't use one. Take that, my open pores and my confidence. Okay, now that you let the powder sit for about 10 to 15 seconds, you want to take your brush and you want to dust the remaining powder off. Now, if you don't like the baking method, you don't have to do it. It works beautifully for me. My concealer and my base is bulletproof the entire day. But if you don't want to do it, you can skip it. And you can just take your beauty sponge and you can set your under eye with the powder. Or you can pick up your brush and you can just look up and set 
your under eye with the powder so that is it summing it up i highly freaking recommend the fit me range because this is one of my go to range and want the rest of the look i'm going to create my eye look today using this palette this is the maybelline new york lemonade craze palette so on we have like this two palettes from maybelline and initially i wanted to create a look from this two only but the look she has created is gorgeous and after all we are not testing out Maybelline today we are testing Malvika's technique so I wanted to stick to what she has done in this video and even though eyeshadows have nothing to do with mask and transfer proof makeup we're just gonna do this so for the peach and pink shade I'll be using my pack cosmetic last wish palette and just like Malvika I'm not going to use eyeshadow primer for this and for the shimmer shade that she is using i'll be using mac it's from the frost launch and this one is called fluff frost a58 As far as the makeup application goes, let's see the transfer magic. I'll be checking up with you guys in a few hours if it has transferred then or not. So this is the makeup after three hours from when I applied it and I went to Dmart and I didn't really remove the mask much so basically there was almost no friction here so this is how it looks on my face and on mask so i guess you guys are getting foundation wear test review too two in one you like that so clean so this is the finish after five hours and i went for a run you can see from my clothes that i went for a run i couldn't go to gym because i just didn't want to be the girl who wears full face of makeup at gym but it has started to transfer now but i feel like it's the foundation and not the technique that is breaking this basically after five hours normally this foundation starts to dissolve into my skin basically wherever wherever i have texture or around my nose or on my mouth anywhere where i have a texture so yeah and final conclusion is it's it works for about four four and a half hours almost five hours if you want but i would still prefer setting spray after the baking and i think you can stretch that time for up till eight hours if you want i don't know why I'm into natural makeup these days but setting sprays does make your makeup look quite natural and skin like so that now that I think about Malvika's steps are far more different than mine own and well my videos my that video was focused basically on sweat and heat resistance so of course this video is going to be different and have a different steps than mine own but that video those steps they work they work hard and they get the job done so make sure that so make sure that you check that video out and if you enjoy this you might be interested in my instagram 
feed that's where i post my short quick no bs always honest reviews and bomb tutorials so let's connect over there at instagram and i will see you in my next tutorial bye